Hey guys, this is Dr. McGrath and Violet. We're here today to talk about the litmus milk reaction. This is one of the biochemical tests that you would have done in lab this week. Litmus milk is an undefined media. It has skim milk in it, so that has lactose as a uh, carbohydrate source. It also has azolitmin as a pH indicator. And um, I've written up here the pH and the color. So azolitmin is pink when it's acidic, it's blue when it's basic, and it's purple in between. So there are four basic reactions that happen in the litmus milk. These can happen alone or together. Um, and the first one is lactose fermentation. So if the bacteria can break down lactose into glucose and galactose, it will then eat the glucose, which we know when glucose is eaten, acidic byproducts are made. This will lower the pH in the tube and it will uh, make the tube turn pink. The second one is a litmus reduction. So litmus can act as an electron acceptor in lactose fermentation. So if the litmus is reduced, it turns white. So you could have a pink tube with like white in the bottom. Then there's casein hydrolysis. Casein hydrolysis, what happens here is the milk will actually curdle. It'll start breaking down and curdle. Just like when you leave a bowl of cereal in your room for a really, really long time and the milk kind of separates out, that's what happens here. So it'll leave the whey separated out, which is kind of clear. Um, and in casein hydrolysis, if it's eating the casein and not the lactose, then it turns basic and it will turn blue. And then the last one is casein coagulation. And casein coagulation, this happens if there's lots and lots and lots of acid and an actual curd is formed at the bottom. Like if you guys have ever been to Culver's, got the Wisconsin cheese curds. It's like a little blob at the bottom. It's different than the litmus reduction which just turns white. This one actually makes an acid clot in the bottom. So to review the litmus milk reaction, there are four main reactions, lactose fermentation, litmus reduction, casein hydrolysis, and casein coagulation. And these can happen by themselves or together. We'll post the results for the um, litmus milk broth a little bit later this week. Bye guys.